Game Ranks presents 10 of the best things that you didn't see on the E3 show floor, but we did. We compiled a list of some cool things we found on the E3 show floor just for you guys who didn't attend E3 this year. The first thing on our list, and definitely a little bit of a surprise, was seeing all the little Big Planet 3 characters out at the Sony booth. We got to see big costumed versions of Oddsock, Toggle, Swoop, and even Sackboy. Even though the show floor was really, really hot, and you could smell the rank coming off of these people, that's E3 for you. Not only that, but one really cool thing we saw was Dante's jacket from Devil May Cry by the Capcom booth. This was an absolutely perfect replica, and I wanted to break the glass and take it for myself. And right by the front entrance of the show floor, we got a good look at Mad Max's car from the upcoming Mad Max game. The game seems okay, but that car is really badass. Just look at the detail they put into this replica. And getting a little bit more on the crazy and absurd side of E3, the guys from Farming Simulator brought an actual barn and put it on the show floor. Complete with bales of hay and fake pigs and cows. Farming Simulator is actually a pretty big game, so they're not messing around. Especially when you bring a barn to a convention about video games. You gotta be crazy enough to do that. One thing that really surprised people on the show floor was seeing the Ghostbusters car. Yeah, this Ghostbusters replica in all its glory was really cool, and upon leaked photos of the show floor, people thought at first that we were going to see another Ghostbusters game, but of course we're not. This is for some game Ghostbusters Puzzle Fighter. I don't really know or care what it is, but I got to take a picture of the Ghostbusters car, and that was really cool. Capcom got really creative this year in demoing their HD version of Resident Evil Zero in an actual train car. For those of you who haven't played Resident Evil, you should know that most of the game takes place completely on a train. So those of us lucky and cool people who got to attend E3 got to play Resident Evil Zero HD on a spooky train car, and it was kind of awesome. And of course, Bethesda had such a good year at E3, so we couldn't go that far without talking about Fallout. At the Bethesda booth, they had a lot of really cool stuff. Like a giant life-size Vault Boy bobblehead, an actual Mr. Handy, and we got to see that version of the Pip-Boy that everybody wants so bad that they're going to be selling in the Collector's Edition. As we get to the final three on my list, one of the things that I really, really enjoyed was seeing every single amiibo in all of its glory. Yes, Nintendo brought some giant display cases showing off not only the new and really cool looking amiibos, but all of the amiibos. Yes, even the super rare ones that nobody can have. And, and once again, I found myself at E3 as a professional wanting to break glass and steal shit because these things are amazing. Not only that, but Disney Infinity had a really great display as well. They had a huge glass arch that was an entrance to their booth that was filled with Disney Infinity figures. We also got to see the plastic injection molds that created these figures and the new Star Wars figures, which look absolutely gorgeous, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. And second to last, but certainly not least, is Dark Souls 3. Of course it was announced, and From Software had a really cool setup, a sort of fountain, if you will. Even though you can't really call it a fountain, but it is a sword in a body with blood and guts gushing out of it. And it's really cool if you could tell from the video. This was an insane presence, and probably one of the greater displays at E3 2015. And last but certainly not least, even though some of you might hate this, the best thing on the show floor that we got to see that you guys didn't get to is Kanye West. Yes, Kanye West apparently showed up real quick to drop in and play some Xbox and PlayStation games. Apparently he played Halo, Cuphead, Uncharted, stuff like that. And I got to see him with my own eyes for a brief second, and it was like the second coming of Christ. Now, of course, E3s are always known for their celebrities. Uh, Josh Dumel was also there, but nobody gave a shit about him. Also, Steven Spielberg was there as well, checking out some Oculus VR stuff. But Kanye West really takes the cake because he's not a celebrity you see every day. E3 2015 was absolutely awesome, and we hope you guys enjoyed our coverage there. And we hope we gave you a better glimpse into what it's like to be on the show floor. So if you did have a good time with this video, maybe give us a like. Maybe help us out. And if you are new, subscribe, because we go to events and we do stuff like this, and we do giveaways. We also got videos coming out almost every day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.